in this video we are going to be talking about something personal something that a lot of persons go through and oftentimes when they talk about it it seems like nothing is being done if this is your first time watching this channel Ekabo Unua Sanu and if this is not your first step hey don't i just love you thank you guys okay my name is cassandra tayo and i am super excited to have you here a friend of mine called me two weeks ago and she was talking to me about a friend of hers who was harassed sexually at his place of work his boss was constantly on his boss was constantly on his neck for for sex okay and guys, the boss is a guy. Man, I know we see these things in movies, but here yeah, it happened to someone while of not giving in. The boss had to let him go. And then the boss called him to say, you know what to do if you want your job back. And if you're ready to come back, I could even, you know, increase your salary. <laughs> now guys, this is not in any way funny because this reminded me of my time in um, Calabar. I was working for an organization four years ago, a radio station. I'm not going to mention the name of the radio station, but I was literally harassed sexually every day. It wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. And uh, this is somebody that I know. He knows he's married and has three kids. Now, am I saying that whether you are married or single, it's, you know, gives you any explanation for why you should harass your employee? Not at all. Whether you are single or not, respecting the professional space and the choices of your employee is really, really important. So, back to what I was saying. So, one day he called me into his office and he said... He booked an hotel right in front of me and said that he wants me to show up so we could have a good time, blah, blah, blah. Trust me. When I got home, switched off my phone and slept. <laughs> the next day, um, come and say action film at work. Man, I got to work the next day and there was no insult. There was no insult. This man did not rain on me. You know, he made it look like I was incompetent. I don't know what I'm doing at the job. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't know when I, I, I busted out in tears. I started to cry. And then I just left the office. And a colleague followed me outside. And she was like, what's going on? I explained everything to her. And she laughed. And she said, girl, it's not just you. Almost every lady in this office, that's what the man does to all of them you know and get this i was living by myself in calabar so it was it was a really tough period i wasn't staying with my parents where i could have morning afternoon and dinner okay i was just by myself so literally the salary was you know taking care of my meal and transport and everything but i couldn't i couldn't stay there anymore I could, the harassment was way too much for me to deal or handle it. I didn't know how to be in that kind of space. So I needed to make a choice. And for me, it was either Jesus or this. And I had to. I had to, I had to choose Jesus. I had to. Now, why am I sharing this story with you guys? I know there are a lot of persons who might be going through this right now. And it feels like you're going through hell. Trust me. I think I've been there before okay and you do not in any way want to start changing who you are to fit everybody because there are a lot of crazy people out there so this is not just going to be the last person you're still going to meet another person who's going to tell you why not add extra zeros to this check and the person is your boss so what do you do you cannot keep on changing who you are to fit every other person just so you could have a job trust me at the end of the day you might not even end up recognizing who you are anymore because you've changed severally for every other person okay so 
I urge you to choose to choose Jesus this day. I urge you to put your hope and your faith in Jesus that he would make a way. It was a tough period, but it didn't swallow me. I never for once went out to the road to beg for money because God made provisions for my feeding and transport and every other thing. Of course, it took a long while before I could get another job, but it came eventually. Okay, so don't don't beat yourself up about how is my family going to cope? Oh, I'm the breadwinner. No, let Jesus be the breadwinner. Okay, and um, I'm going to be dropping my email address. If you want to share your personal stories with me, or if you have questions, you could drop your questions on the comment section. I'll definitely be reading. But if you don't feel too bold to share your stories on the comment section, you could do or to send me an email. Okay. Thank you guys for always watching. I hope this story helped. Cheers.